amazing ones. This is Dani V here on YouTube and today we're going to be talking about five reactions and expectations from other people when you tell them that you have a debilitating disease. If you're new here on my channel, welcome, my name is Dani and I am talking to you here on YouTube about my journey living with a debilitating condition called hydrocephalus, sharing with you tips and tricks on overcoming everyday obstacles and sharing with you real life examples of how amazing you are. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel and I will be releasing new videos for you every Wednesday and Friday and a bonus video on Saturday. So without any further ado, let's dive into today's content. So guys, first things first, there are the first ever thing that happens when I meet someone else, like someone new, and I do share with them that I do have a debilitating disease without even digging deep into the saucy details of which every person has been so craving to hear even before I share the details with them, even before I tell them that I do have a brain tumor and hydrocephalus, is that people look at you with a look of pity and they look at you in such a manner as if they're expecting from you to drop down and instantaneously die, which indeed may happen. I'm not completely eliminating this possibility, but let's hope it happens another time, right? Okay, so another thing with human beings is that they're really, really visual. So if you tell them that you do have a debilitating disease or any type of a chronic condition, but if it is the case that you're not missing a limb or if you're not in a wheelchair, people tend to be really skeptical about your disease and might even consider you fake, which is like, no, you guys, no. Like many more people are actually considering my husband disabled because of his multiple sclerosis, because there is an actual visual element to it. Like you can actually see his has difficulty walking or something like that sometimes. And not me with, you know, having a brain tumor a and a, an overcompensating VP shunt with slit ventricles. Like it's not a competition in here, but like I'm just saying to make a point. Okay, another thing you should be bearing in mind, if you're someone who is living with a debilitating disease and is somehow meeting other people for the first time in life, <laughs> is that people tend to be really uncomfortable to be talking about your condition, even if you are perfectly okay talking about it, which is, I guess, is because they're afraid not to be hurting your feelings. Guys, bullying and ignorance hurts my feelings. When you're being genuinely interested in my condition and if everything is okay with uh, me, does not. With this regard, human beings tend to be greatly bipolar. So the other extremity of, you know, being really uncomfortable about talking with you about your condition is bullying. And bullies who will be bullying you for being disabled and mind me would be feeling discriminated by you and offended by you and by your condition. Does it make any sense? No. Does it happen? Yes. Should you care? Absolutely not. Bullies have always been there and they will continue to exist. So I really rarely recommend ignoring something apart from your feelings about which I do have a totally separate video, which I'm going to link in the description box below. So please make sure you do watch that. But sometimes this is the healthiest thing to do. Just ignore them. Okay. So number five, so another thing which comes as a surprise to the general non-disabled public is that people with debilitating disease and with chronic conditions can actually do enjoy life. Like we are not constantly being miserable and thinking that we're going to die. We can be pretty freaking happy and enjoy life. In fact, I do believe that people with uh, chronic or debilitating conditions cherish and appreciate every fun and happy moment even so much more than the general non-disabled public, just because we know that um, the next moment might not be that pleasant and pain and frustration might be, might be around the corner. So we are really happy to be holding this moment and to be cherishing it and experiencing it to the fullest because we actually do know how precious and how fleeting these moments are. So please, if you're someone who is living with someone uh, with a debilitating disease, or if you're uh, someone who wants to be more educated about, you know, uh, a friend or a family member, do consider those as, um, let's say, not acceptable. It's not that I'm going to be offended or something by uh, such a behavior, but it's just unpleasant. And life would be so much easier and so much more fun if we could actually care about each other and be, you know, be uh, kind and protective 
instead of you know bullying or ignorant so um i have had my fair share of all those five types of reactions and i really know how hard it can be from time to time but i ha i have kind of built my coping mechanisms around it so if you're someone who is living with a debilitating disease and who has encountered uh, other types of uh, you know non non debilitated public behavior please let me know in the comment section below uh, and as well if you enjoyed this content please give it a thumbs up it really will mean a lot for me and it really, really will support me also please subscribe to my channel and i will be waiting to see you again on my next video bye guys